Okay, this video is a follow-up to our previous video in which we talked about the basic electronic components. Now in this video, our focus will be on resistors. So the first thing we want to ask ourselves is what are resistors? Resistors are devices which are specifically designed to limit or as the name suggests, resist the amount of current flowing in an electric circuit. Now we can think of a resistor in the sense of an, a, a garden hose. Right? Let's say we have a garden hose which is uh, carrying water to, from location A to location B. Now let's say we are to constr constrict any point on that garden hose by either stepping on it or squeezing it with a pliers or anything of, of, of that matter. We might find that the water coming out at point B uh, will be significantly reduced. And that's the same principle uh, in which a resistor resists or limits the current flowing in an electric circuit. So. Whenever a resistor is introduced to an electric circuit, it causes the amount of current flowing in that circuit to be reduced. Right? And that reduction can be a big reduction or a small reduction, which all depends on the value of the resistor. Now, there are two types of resistor which we want to focus on. And these are fixed resistor, which are most often used in electronic circuits and then there are variable resistors like these one here All right so a fixed resistor will offer a fixed resistance to a circuit while a variable resistance resistor will offer a, a varying range of resistance to a circuit so for example this resistor here is a, is rated at a 5 kilo ohm resistor based on the Thing here, a 5 kilo ohm resistor, so it can go from 0 right up to about 5 kilo ohm, 5 kilo ohms, and then these are some other variable resistors. Now, there are other types of variable resistors, these are some potentiometers, uh, there's also light dependent resistors, LDRs, there's also thermistors which are temperature dependent resistors and then there are varistors. So those are the two main types of resistors, fixed resistors and variable resistors and variable resistors arm is then brought down into other types. Right? So when building our electronic circuits we will on almost all occasion be needing resistors. So how do we choose our resistors to use in our circuits. There are two things we need to consider when we are, are choosing a resistor. We need to consider the maximum power rating and also the current which we need to be flowing in the circuit. So in terms of the power now, uh, as you look at these resistors, you notice that they are different sizes, right? different sizes of resistors and the size is proportional to the power which it can handle. So this resistor can uh, handle a much higher power than this smaller resistor here. So the size is dependent. The size is proportional to the power rating of the resistor. So we need to be mindful of that. Another thing we, another thing we might need to be mindful of is the current which we need to be flowing in the circuit. So as we said earlier, a resistor will limit or resist the amount of current flowing in the circuit. And how much a resistor will resist the current flowing in a circuit will, depend on, will be dependent on the resistance of the resistor. So as we look at these resistors here, we realize that there are different color, color bands on the resistor. So the color band will indicate to us the sequence of the color band will indicate to us uh, the value 
of the resistor right and that value of the resistor value of the resistor will determine the amount of current which is allowed to flow in the circuit and that relationship between the current and the resistor is governed by Ohm's law which says that V is equal to I times R right so those are the two things you need to consider when you are uh, choosing resistors to put in a circuit now in order to measure a resistor we can actually look at the color bands and uh, take reference to our resistor color code chart to determine the resistance of the resistor and another way is to use a multimeter on the resistor scale so we can actually measure the resistance of this resistor here All right we have to turn on our multimeter and uh, test here just let me test here and we see we are approximately 330 kilo ohm ah, 330 ohms not kilo ohms so 330 ohm so this is a fixed 330 ohm resistor and um, we mentioned a little about variable resistor so we can actually test the value of this variable resistor here so i need to increase the scale I'm reading here because this is a five kilo ohm so on the two kilo ohm scale it would not uh, measure resistance so it's now at approximately six kilo ohm so if i turn this a little just if i can get it to turn i see i'm varying the resistor the resistance of the resistor all the way to down to zero ohms right and then i can increase it up and down right so these are some basic concepts behind resistors our next video we will talk about uh, capacitors right so look out for our next video uh, in a matter of days thank you for watching